Ashley Monroe and Trent Dabbs are in the studio. How are you guys doing? Great. Wonderful. How Is are it, you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay. I've, I've been inside here for a few hours now. You guys just came from the outside, which... It's not that warm out today, it's is it? It's not. We're thawing it's, out. No. So. It's scary. Ki- kind of chilly, but um, we are going to be, uh, we're going to, it warms up actually pretty quickly here in the studio, which is a good thing. I know. I'm actually, I think I'm almost getting hot right now. Getting hot, okay. Well, can, <laughs> we, we don't have a cool uh, internet cam here, but you can take off your jacket anyways. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we, um, so, uh, so you guys get to headline Nashville Sunday night, and you guys have... Just put out uh, an EP. It's on. It's on iTunes. Um, I'm curious about uh, about this project and and I read an article maybe in the summertime that said you know it was listing people you've written with Trent and it mentioned Ashley Monroe. So you guys have been writing for a while together. Is that right? Yeah. Has it been two years? Something like that. Yeah. Um, I was always a fan of her music, and then when we got to write some songs together, I, and they were always my favorite, you know, ones that I, um, was a part of. So. It was kind of like, why don't we uh, make a record during this uh, kind of a downtime? And we used the same player, same producer, Paul Moak, as Decade Fades. So uh, we were just anxious to kind of do something with songs rather than just, you know, have them and pitch them. Yeah, it, it turned out. So, we were, I mean, we had high hopes going in, but it was just magical how it turned out. And we were so happy with it. So we want to share it. We've, we've got the record. We're going to listen to a couple of tracks here on the show today. But And I've, I've had you on the show a few times, Trent. This is yep. the first time, Ashley, no, you've been in our, our studios here. Uh, t- just tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you're a Tennessee native. Yes. How long have you been in Nashville? I've been in Nashville, gosh, since I was 15, and I'm 22. So you went to high school here? No, I was ho- I home. I was or, homeschooled here. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> I went to high school a little bit in Knoxville, and then I said, I think it's time to to get out so I came to Nashville with my mom when I was 15 I was homeschooled and you are you're not on a record label right now but you've been on one I have I've been on Sony since I was uh gosh 17 17 or 18 and um I thought it was time to move on so I um got off and I'm working on some new things and very excited about the future there, there's lots of exciting things. Um, we've got a, a link on the front page of our website. I know something you did recently was with the the Rack and Tours. Yes. Oh my gosh. What a cool video so that exciting. is. Thank you so much. I'm very very excited about that. Yeah, the, you guys you guys did uh, Old Enough, which is a, a great song, mm-hmm. and Ricky Skaggs came in and, and played it, and you sang, and yeah, just a, a really cool thing. And I think that they released that on vinyl. They did mm-hmm. actually. I just got. Um, a did you get Did you yesterday. get your hands on one? Because I Doyle do, I, came in last Friday and said they that like there was five thousand copies and they like sold out all the very first really? day. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I won't see a cent of it, but it's awesome. People know who I am now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Sometimes that's what it's all about. You Absolutely. Know, you got, you, everyone makes investments, and and sometimes your investment is something like that where you may not make money off it, but <laughs> those people are going to come to the show on uh, Sunday out. And yeah, I mean the fact that Jack White even knew who I was. I mean, I got a, an email from him, and it was like, hello, this is Jack Watt writing to you. And I thought, this must be a joke, you know? So it's, I'm honored to even be a part of it, and with Ricky Skaggs, too. It's just, they're all legends. I, I had heard that he discovered you maybe on the Grand Ole Opry, is that Yeah, true? a couple years ago, um, I was actually at the airport, and he was getting off of a plane, and, and I went up to him and um, and asked for his autograph and told him my name, and he said, are you Ashley Monroe, the singer? And I thought he was making fun of my name for some reason. I thought, because it kind of sounds like a made-up name. And I, my feelings were kind of hurt, but I thought, well, it's Jack White, so I guess he can make fun of my name. Um, but then he said, you know, we, did you sing on the Opry a couple weeks ago? And, and I said, yeah, I did. And he said, oh, my gosh, I'm such a fan. And my face to turn blood red because I didn't know what was happening or what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, oh. And then he walked off. So that was two years ago. And I, uh, for two years, I'd been waiting, like, I hope he remembers me and works on a project with me. And, and he did. So That's pretty cool. I, you know, he's obviously a fan of country music. He did the Van Leer Rose mm-hmm. record with Loretta Lynn, which mm-hmm. is astounding. And uh, is he going to do something with you? Or you, know, you never know. Me and Brendan Benson, you know, yeah, and, absolutely. And the Recondors have been yeah. writing a bunch and working on some stuff. And um, we all just have such great chemistry that, I hope that we, we do get to work Yeah, I saw in the future. photo shoot, it looked like you were kind of hanging with, chumming around with Brendan. Yeah, he's, we're buddies. <laughs> right.
<laughs> right on. Well, my in-studio guests today are Ashley Monroe and Trent Dabbs. Is it Monroe Dabbs this, this Sunday, maybe? I don't know. Sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this Sunday. Or, it's just or Dabbs really Monroe. Da- Dabbs Monroe. <laughs> All right, right on. Well, uh, you guys have... I've got a copy of uh, the EP, which people can get on uh, iTunes. And uh, it's a f- five-song EP. And I want to play the song Gone. Can you tell me a little bit about this song? Yeah, we actually wrote this um, probably about a year ago. And... Um, you want to say something? Yeah, you want me to jump in? Yeah. Um, we were both, like, uh, Ashley's, um, we, we've dealt with uh, death, um, family members um, at different times in our lives, and so it was kind of like a way to get together and, and um, I don't know, write something that meant a lot to both of us and um, try to let some certain things go and, and be remembered at the same time. Yeah, it was, it was I lost my father and... <clears throat> We had been. We were just talking one day, and I was talking about, you know, how much I, I missed my dad, and and how hard it is to understand the concept of somebody just being gone. And and he was talking about his brother-in-law. And um, I've always learned, you know, my father passed away when I was thirteen, and I've always learned that songwriting, even if it's a really sad song, uh, somehow just heals your soul. And it really, this one really did. I think for both of us. Yeah. Well, let's take a listen. This is Ashley Monroe and Trent Dabbs, Gone on Lightning One Hundred. <laughs> 